Hi Ramblers, this is Rose from Ramblin' Rose Soaps and I'm here today to make another soap. Normally I don't go on camera I'm making a very special soap that I have wanted to make for a very long time. So I'm coming on camera to explain my soap for you. I am making this soap as a uh, my version of the very famous painting by Vincent Van Gogh. It's called Starry Night. And I've always loved that painting. So anyway, I'm going to be making uh, Starry Night. It's going to have Spellbound Woods as the fragrance. And let's get busy and make some soap. Okay, we're ready to start. And uh, wish me luck because I'm a little nervous about this one. I wanted to make it for a very long time. And I'm hoping that I do it justice. We've got our oils in here. This is a standard recipe of olive oil, beef tallow, castor oil, and coconut oil. And um, we're going to be using the colors of Summer Yellow Daisy. And we're going to use some Lappies Blue um, with a little bit of Midnight Black mixed in to darken up the color and then also in the soap are going to be a couple embeds i'm going to have a moon in there half moon crescent moon and i'm going to have a star these are made out of melt and pour glycerin soap and then on top of the soap i have i'm missing my stars i'm gonna have to get my stars I have moons and I also have stars that I've made. And I also have some stars that I made out of some melt and pour glycerin soap. Those are going to go on top of the soap. I forgot the fragrance uh, oil that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using Spellbound Woods by Brambleberry as the fragrance. All right, now I think we're ready to go. So.
here for the cut. This is uh, Starry Night, and we're going to cut it. Um, a little nervous about it. It's a little sticky still, but inside there, I'm not sure you can see or not, um, but there are a star and a moon in there. I'm going to try to bring you in closer so you can see the cut. It's about the best I'm going to be able to do. But those are made with melt and pour, and they're a little bit stronger than, um, or harder is the right word, than um, cold process soap is. And it's going to be tough on my uh, cutter. So I might not finish the cut this way. Uh, we'll see. I did cut the initial cut off the edge. And um, this is the initial cut. I'm, I'm happy with the results so far. All right. These are going to be bigger bars than I normally do because of the decorations on the tops. Got to go nice and slow so I don't break my string. Nice and slow. I might speed this up for the camera when I do these. Um, I am very happy with the way it looks inside. My gloves in the way here. Now the sad part of this is that silly me did not check the information on the fragrance which is um the fragrance is um why is it not coming to me this morning um spellbound woods by brambleberry is the fragrance and it discolors to brown as it cures which means this pretty blue and this pretty yellow is not going to stay that color they're going to turn brown my hope is that it doesn't affect it too much but i have a feeling that it's going to just totally um ruin the look of the soap but we only can do what we can do so we'll just carry on Continue cutting, and we will hope for the best. Now here's where it gets kind of iffy because I'm starting to hit my, um, you know what I think I'm going to do? This is going to cause me to have less soap, uh, less soap bars, but I think I'm going to cut it, trim it up right there in the middle. And have an end piece there so that I can have relatively even, even pieces in the bar, hopefully. I'm so afraid I'm going to break that cutter. So far, so good. We have three down and probably five more to go. I have a feeling this is only going to produce eight bars. I am loving the inside of this. I'm disappointed that it's going to turn brown and all my pretty handiwork is going to be all for naught. But I do like that the design came out the way I wanted it to. And perhaps we'll try this again sometime with a different fragrance and 
it'll be Starry Night Part 2. I know the things I did wrong, so I can improve on the next one. And here's the last one. We'll clean up the end here so it's nice and sharp. And I got through that without breaking my string on my cutter. So we have eight bars of soap. Normally I have nine. And I have lots of samples here. This will go on the um, shop January 29th when we reopen. Alright. That starry night featuring Spellbound Fragrances. Please like, share, and comment. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and I'm at 315. So I only have 685 to go. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to welcome you into my uh, channel. And um, that way you will know when I do new, uh, new videos. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and have a great day.